Underneath every sound, there is silence. And wherever light sheds, there is also darkness. When there are objects, there is space within which the objects are. This is stillness. What I am referring to here is stillness. Beyond the thoughts, beyond the emotions, beyond anything that is taking place, any of the happenings, there is stillness. And it's within that stillness that all of that which happens rests and takes place. This stillness is vast. It's like a never ending ocean, a limitless sky. So vast. It knows no boundaries. It knows no limitations. It's formless. It's timeless. There is no one there to grasp this stillness. There's no one there to claim this stillness. And all of that which takes place takes place within stillness. It's the essential underlying prerequisite for this very moment, for anything. When there's so much chatter, when there's so much movement, so much thoughts, if you get swayed with these thoughts, then these very thoughts or the very chasing after the thoughts or believing that you are the thoughts, it acts as a cover over the stillness, as though it's not there. But that is a false claim. It's an illusion because the very fact that thoughts are recognized, the very fact that this movement is known is because of that stillness. So to deny stillness is to deny the essence, the very source. The thoughts themselves cannot formulate this stillness. Imagination cannot grasp this stillness because the thoughts themselves and imagination itself falls within stillness. This very stillness is what allows these expressions, what allows these movements. And because the mind cannot grasp, cannot understand this stillness, all that remains is joy. It's just joy or peace, if you like, or happiness. Because the stillness itself is not lacking anything does not require anything. 
does not need anything. And for that reason, if you allow yourself to just rest in this stillness, you too won't lack anything. You too won't need anything. And there's really nothing much to say about this. This very stillness is self-evident. It speaks for itself. It doesn't require speech though. As much pointing as I can do here, it's all just a bunch of noise within stillness. That's all it really is. And there is nothing magical about this. There is nothing extraordinary about this. In fact, it is so ordinary. It's so ordinary and so simple, so basic. There is no complexity. And so the mind may try to maneuver, to try and dig and to try and solve something to get there. But it doesn't make sense to say that you can get there because you are already there. Because as mentioned, all desires, all thoughts, all beliefs, they fall and rest in this stillness. And so just allow this stillness to recognize itself as it always does. If any objects or happenings or movements or thoughts or beliefs or feelings, if any of these become the center, then all else becomes blurred. This once again gives rise to the illusion that there isn't that stillness, that it's actually rather noisy. And Believing and establishing yourself in this illusion is extremely tiring. It's very exhausting. You can just wake up from 12 hours of sleep and still be exhausted. It's a different type of exhaustion. It may not be physical but eventually does translate itself as physical tiredness. It's a never ending ocean. Yes, it has all these waves and all these waves have different shapes and forms. The wave alone is the ocean as well. And the ocean is the wave. So, even through the noise and the thoughts and the emotions, you may recognize the stillness. Even the notion of I, the identity itself, which is imagined. It's an imagined feature. It's an imagined object, just like any object in existence. Even through that, underneath, there can be the recognition of stillness. There is nothing missing. 
and there are no paths. All paths are pointing towards stillness. This is the radiance of being, the vast radiance of being. This is the vast ocean of being, the vast ocean of stillness. There are so many names. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hassan from the Spiritual Walks and we are all on a journey towards the truth.